Hey what's up guys my name is Anand and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'm going to be talking about how to link your Google Ads and Google Analytics account and how to set up your auto tagging. Well why do you need to link your Google Ads and Analytics in the first place? The answer is you are able to pass on all the important metrics from your Google Ads um, into your Google Analytics account. Uh, you'll be able to see all the you know click information and how your ads performed for example cost per click, cost per view, whether it's a search display or YouTube campaign. You are able to analyze metrics like bounce rate, average session duration, pages per session um, and everything that happens once they click on your ad and how they you know interact with your website uh, through your paid campaign. Now this information is very important because you are able to um, get the complete idea about what happens when they see your ad and how they interact with your website after they click on your ad. Uh, by this way, you are able to get the full picture of your camp paid campaign um, and the performance of your website and this will help you to optimize your landing pages and make sure that you get maximum results. Um, in terms of you know whether it's A/B testing your landing page and and analyzing um, your ad performance. So um, let's get started. And uh, the first thing that you want to do is uh, is to log into your Google Analytics account. Um, and once you are in this dashboard, you need to click on you need to select your property. So I have my property over here. That's my website. So I have already selected. And then what you want to do is under product linking, click on Google Ads linking. Now, once you click on it, um, you are able to create a new product group. So, I think I need to refresh it. Hold on one second. All right, so once you click on Google Ads linking, um, you will get to see the screen. Now, if obviously when you're starting out first, you will click on new link group. Um, now, uh, make sure to log in with the same Gmail ID um, that you are using for your Google Ads account uh, because it's just going to make your life easier when it comes to uh, configuring this link. Um, as soon as you log in with the same, um, you know, Gmail ID, uh, Google will automatically pu pull in the Google Ads uh, account ID. So as you can see, um, <clears throat> I have three different, um, you know, ad accounts and Google is automatically pulling my Google Ads account um, because I have logged in with the same Gmail ID um, that I'm using for my Google Analytics and Google Ads account. Now, if you're not using the same um, you know, ID, then uh, basically it will, help, it will ask you to send in a request and it's just gonna take some extra steps, but you can still do it. So uh, that's, that's your first step. Click on, so what I did is, um, click on new link group and then it's going to pull in your Google Ads account. Uh, you check this box and then hit continue. Um, so mine is already set up and I'm going to show you how exactly you need to enable auto tagging. So over here, once you hit continue, what happens is you need to provide a link group title. It can be anything. Um, I have just, you know, added my ad account ID over here. Uh, it looks like a phone number that you know that's similar to like a phone number um, so you can give a title and then what you want to do is you need to click on advanced setting over here now this will allow you to auto tag um, you know analytics to automatically associate your Google Ads with customer clicks so click on advanced settings um, and this is where you will enable your auto tagging feature now this is very important because uh, by doing so it will append a unique ID to the end, end of the destination URL. And this ID lets analytics report the details of a, each click. So whenever someone clicks on your paid ad and, and visit your landing page, uh, the destination URL will be appended with information like uh, the keyword, the cost per click, you know, which ad created, uh, you know, triggered that, you know, um, triggered that click and all the details about your ad will be passed on to your Google Analytics. So that's how you know you enable your auto tagging of Google Ads and Google Analytics account. 
and then you just hit save and then that's pretty much it on the analytics side so that's your first step the second step that you want to do is um, go into your Google Ads account um, so when you go into your Google Ads account um, you need to click on you know the main dashboard and then click on settings now once you hit settings um, click on the account settings tab and then you have this option that says auto tagging so all you have to do is check this box um, that says tag the URL that people click through from my ad uh, and then hit save um, now this is an awesome feature because by enabling auto tagging you don't have to you know create those complicated campaign URLs or you don't have to you know build those custom URLs um, and use it uh, on every single ad Google will automatically take care of passing on that information to Google Analytics uh, so I'm just I'm, I want to quickly show you what all data that you can get uh, by you know linking your Google Ads and Google Analytics account um, but before going so I want to show you how to verify if everything is working correctly so click on tools um, and then click on linked accounts and then um, over here when it says Google Analytics click on details alright this is where you will get to see if your Google Ads and Google Analytics is linked so as you can see um, my Google Ads is pulling in my you know Google Analytics ID uh, and the status says linked um, I just have one view linked I have not set up any goals um, I don't have any audiences yet and then action says unlink so you can unlink this anytime so that's how you know you can uh, verify on both the sites whether your analytics and Google Ads account has been linked or not um, one more thing to keep in mind uh, when you set up goals in Google Analytics and audiences um, you will start getting information about what goals can be imported in your Google Ads account so that's just a handy feature so look at this um, you can import you know if there are 10 goals that you have set up then Google Ads can import those additional goals and transaction data um, and you will be able to see those conversion information as well so that's your you know verification process in order to check um, your you know Google Ads performance in Google Analytics what you will have to do is um, you will have to click on acquisition and then Google Ads and then click on campaigns alright so look at this so um, that's your you know campaign ID or campaign name so I have like three campaigns two campaigns that I ran in the past and look at this I'm able to see the campaign name um, the click performance the cost per click sorry the uh, the total cost of the campaign the cost per click user session bounce rate and you know all the important information that is valuable for me to analyze what happens and how does my users you know interact with my website after they click on my ad um, I'm also able to see you know all the different type of campaigns like video campaigns shopping campaigns so I have a couple of video campaigns that I ran and look at this if I click on details uh, these are some of the videos uh, or ad content I have used and I'm, I'm able to see like the paid view metrics um, you know the total percentage viewed cost cost per view and every single details so that's just you know pretty you know solid information in terms of um, how we can utilize this feature in terms of auto tagging and pulling in the data from Google ads so that's it guys for the video um, if you like this video make sure to subscribe to my channel if you have any questions let me know in the comment section and I will see you next time